as you're talking, John, one of the things I'm thinking about is I knew in the UK there were there was a certain amount of stigma years and years ago around coaching or being a coach mm -hmm. or life coach. Yet I find it really different in the exec world. It's, it's almost as though it's a badge of honor. When I'm working with leaders, leaders aspiring to be a coaching kind of leader. It's like, yeah. it's the highest rank they feel that they can reach in their leadership style. Why do you think that is? There's some good marketing out there with books. Like there, a couple of these books have some really uh, great marketing aspects to it. So I think that's helpful for the field. Those marketing books come from uh, a belief that the fundamentals of coaching are correct. Just what we talked about earlier, the idea that if an executive spends 20 to 30 minutes, they're in you know, being coached, they now have uh, an opportunity to increase their productivity by 20 to 30 percent that could be massive to an organization so the fundamentals are correct so that's where if a if your supervisor is trained as a coach that supervisor also has their skill sets in coaching imagine the whole organization so this is where this is where it's coming from it's coming from the raw numbers of coaching works I don't believe those uh, ROIs, I, yeah, what was it five, 10 years ago, there was that thing going around the ROI of coaching is like seven times the, you know, if you put in, uh, yeah, I know where those came from. I don't know, I, I think that's silly, but I have seen different studies that say 20, 30% difference in decision-making. I think it's about right. I feel that feels right for me in my life. Like there are times when I am more heavily coached than others. And when I am more heavily coached, I, I it, it's just things are easier. It's hard to, it's hard to put your, I, it's hard for me to go back to the uncoached life. You know, I feel like if people are, un, if, if you're living an uncoached life, you're just missing out. So sorry, but get on it, <laughs> you know, do some Google searches, find a coach, interview three, pick one, do it for three months, see what happens. Uh, it's one of those sneaky things where it doesn't feel like you might not even talk that much with your coach like about certain things, but then you'll find yourself two or three weeks later just making better choices or things just seem smoother than they were before only because you you process stuff out loud that you didn't think you may not even need to have processed in a way that's not judgmental or gives you a label or makes you feel bad about yourself, but in a way that makes you feel empowered. And that trickles into all the other areas of your life too. On coach life, wow. I can't even imagine my life without coaching. Coach <laughs> I know, right? I think about all the things I had, I needed to learn when I was in that space. 